What's up, everyone? Welcome to Barstool Breakdown. Today is episode 32. That's the freezing point of water. That's probably the number of people that are going to drop out of the Beer Olympics by the end of all of this. And that's the number of subscribers we'd like to see each and every week at least. Get the boys to 1,000. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. Get the boys to 1,000. Today, we got another great show for you. We got the double vodka Don, Big Ev. Let's get it. Get sturdy as fuck. All right, we're here with the double vodka Don, the man that does not stool, let Stool Presidente get to him because he's an Ohio State Buckeye and he hates that team from up north. It's Big Ev. How we doing, brother? Great, bro. Appreciate you boys having me. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, we appreciate that. Yeah, it's an honor to have you on. Uh, it, this is one of those situations where I was kind of like taking it back. Like, I, I think I DM'd you like a long time ago for like a stoolie Wednesday or something, and you know, never heard back or anything. And uh, it was it was off after the Connor Griffin had like the nice words. You you sent me a DM. And you're like, hey, like I uh, love what you guys are doing. I was like, well, fuck you, come on, man. Like we got we got to have the Don on. Yeah, so yeah, it's sure. great to have you, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, and I mean, it's something else we even spoke on was like, you know, how you love the fans because they're, they're the lifeblood of the company and all that. Now, what got you into Barstool? Were, were you a fan before? Were you were you like, you know, outside looking in like, man, I'd love to contribute to that or how'd that work? And, and what got you to where you are now? Yeah, I definitely it's funny because I probably I know you hear a lot of guys talk about they were fans in like, oh, nine, like way back and all that. I got to be honest, I wasn't like that far back. I would say I probably the first time I remember like seeing Barstool was just being a New York guy. Like I, I saw I started seeing like KFC's tweets sometimes from a few yep. like friends that just guys I know like that were Mets fans and stuff. So yeah, probably like tw- 20, like 14, 15, probably. Cause I remember it was before I transferred to Ohio State. So I remember it was like right before I went to Ohio State. And then like I went 2015, like fall 2015. So probably it was 2015. Mm-hmm. Fall 2015, I go there. Like, first kid I meet who's, like, became, like, good, still a good friend of the state. Shout out my guy, Jack Iger. Uh, he was from Pelham, which is where KFC's from. Like, went to the same high school as him. Oh, and was, like, a big, big Barstow fan. Like, other kid I met, uh, Sean, from he's a Boston kid, like, big Barstow fan. So, they kind of just, like, I started seeing KFC, and then they kind of put me on. And then that was where I kind of started watching from there, like, right, going there to school. And then, uh, yeah, just was, like, a big fan pretty much, like, immediately. Like, they just met me for, like, a little bit, and that would be, like, you'd love this shit. Like, you got to, like, yeah. gotta start watching it. Like, started seeing all, like, Dave and Big Cat and just, like, rundowns and, like, just, like, office content and stuff like that. Like, that was really when I started getting into it. Basically, when they moved to New York, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, I guess. So, yeah, so then, so I just kind of was, like, followed for a while. And, I mean, as a kid, like, I always wanted to be, like, do sports stuff. Like, I was always, like, was always obsessed with sports. Mm-hmm. Hyper-obsessed to where, like, my parents would be like, you gotta like, you gotta like something else besides sports. Like you can't always like, that's all you like. But I was like, that's, which is obsessed with it. Like playing yeah, like, as what, a kid. Like, what else playing, is there to watching. like? Yeah. 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 Playing, watching <laughs> everything. So I, like, I always like, like if you asked me when I was like 10 years old, like 12, something like that, like even high school, like who I wanted to be, I would have told you probably like Stephen A. Smith or like somebody like that, like do like TV type, like stuff, like debate style stuff. Um. So yeah, so I started watching Barcelona in college and then, I saw, like, maybe the end of my, like, I went up there for three years and graduated. I did, like, six years, had the whole route, mm-hmm. kind of thing, like, transferred schools a bunch, like, got kicked out of Coastal, went home for a little <laughs> bit, went to Ohio State. So I did three years there. So probably, like, at the end of my second year, I started seeing, like, the Barstow Ohio State account a little bit. And I remember I DM'd, like, I just saw what didn't have, wasn't doing much, like, didn't have a lot of, like, traction or anything. So I, I remember I DM'd the Twitter account. I was like, yo, like, I'd love to, like, contribute or, like, help out anyway, like, if you guys need a hand or whatever. And he was – I remember they, they just responded back. Like, oh, kind of like, yeah, thanks. I'll let you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. So that summer, I stayed and, like, did classes to, like, make sure I'd graduate, like, the, the incoming the, in the spring. Yep. So it was just, like, hanging out, whatever. I remember they, they messaged – they, like, put up a post at the time. So we're talking, like, summer 2017. They put up a post being like, oh, like, we're looking for people to come do, like, uh, do social stuff. And one of the things they had was, like, do, like, on-camera stuff, potentially. And that was, like, what I was wanting to do. So I remember I literally, like, it was it was actually, like, crazy. <laughs> I went to DM the account and, like, literally almost send them, like, my pitch of, like, what I want to do and why I want to do it. 
And literally, like, as I was typing it out, they re- they like sent me a message. Where, oh, like, no send shit. Your best shit here. Like, I, it was crazy. Yeah, that's awesome. And I'm, I'm, I literally remember I was sitting at, like, I was, like, by, like, one of my boys, like, at a apartment complex here. I had, like, a pool. And we were, like, just, like, grilling burgers and shit, like, hanging out by the pool. I'm literally just sitting on this, like, chair at the pool, just, like, sending this DM. And he just <laughs> sends us. I was, like, holy shit. So yeah, I basically that... was, like, almost at writing it. So I basically just, like, hit send. And it's, like, this long thing that I responded with right away. Yeah, that's awesome. So, I wonder like, if they thought that was like crazy. copy and paste or some shit. Because, yeah. you know, like one of those ones where you get those big, long messages. And you're like, wait, that, that was two seconds after I sent that message. You know, like yeah. that's crazy fate right there, man. No, it's just it's, it's, just, it's extreme, extreme ignition. Yeah, I can't fucking speak. Extreme initiative is is how I think they probably saw it. Like, damn, OK, yeah, he's ready to roll. And it's funny, too, because like looking back at it now, like, you know what I know? Like, it really was just like. Literally just an, another like random Ohio State like student just like running the account. Yeah. yeah, but, like, yeah. Like, it's, so he says like, yeah, like help you whatever. Well, like he like kind of that was first year of the Viceroy accounts kind of put together like teams, if you will. Like I think a lot of them just kind of had like one guy running or whatever. And then right. they started kind of trying to add like bring a few people in. So there was like a couple of us they added. And mine was like do videos and stuff. So I kind of had this whole vision of like what I wanted to do, like do this whole like um this whole like it was called talking bucks it was like my first idea which is basically this this series i did like each week for like the house thinking where like i would kind of just like try to make a little jokes about the other team like talk a little shit like score prediction and yeah. kind of bring on this like this kind of character i like which is kind of like a kind of what i would say like almost everyone kind of is at bars with some degree like kind of like this played up version of yourself yeah absolutely. so i had a thing with the hawaiians and like just like the nicknames and like this and that which was all kind of like well i definitely always wore hawaiians big always like always a guy like always like a million nicknames so kind of just like threw them all in and it's like let me just make this shtick and like do videos with it i remember i did the first one and text at the time shit out text was the was like basically my boss essentially oh no just holy shit like, what a over, boss to have over he was overseeing the viceroy account and like oversaw like ohio state was like one of his schools so i remember like sending the video and at the time I was doing this, I like didn't really realize that none of the other vice accounts had ever done anything like that before. Like, oh, they yeah. never had someone like doing like kind of like original content. So I yeah, I was like it. hype pieces about like what's going on with the school already. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I give it to me. So like I sent I so like I remember I sent it into like them be like, is it okay to like post this? Like the video I had done, like this little I don't know if I call it a skip, but this little like thing I was doing. And then they I remember he got back to me, it was like it's a little like felt like curse too much. I, it was very like probably a little force. I just I had literally never done anything on camera. It was my first time like ever even like trying something. Yeah. And so he says like don't post he's like don't post in the account like clean it up a little bit and like try like do it run another one next week. So I remember I just was like fuck it like I like went for it. I'll post it on like my personal account. Like I, I worked hard on it like and they got like just good reviews from just like just like my friends who obviously they're gonna be nice to me, whatever they're like my friends and people I knew growing up and stuff. So then I did one the next week, which was we were playing Oklahoma. And the year before, we had smashed Baker Mayfield, um, <laughs> like beat him by, and it was all them beat him by like a, like three, four touchdowns in Oklahoma. Yeah. So they came to Ohio State week two. Um, and I'm, and, and that year in the off season, he had gotten arrested. And like there was that video of him getting tackled. He tried to like mm-hmm. run away from the cops and got tackled. So I like used that in the video and so they had like some decent like jokes that, and they liked it the second time I said it to him, he like really liked it post it whatever so like got the first okay like post on the actual account and then kind of like it it got like not that it did like crazy numbers or anything but considering like the amount of the followers i had at the time like it was pretty well received yeah yeah and like you just i'm around so and i remember he like text sent like this big email to like all the vice rights being like you guys need to start doing shit like this oh that's awesome and I, immediately i was like okay like this is like yeah you're in all right so like that's that's awesome i that was when i didn't really not realize no one had like done shit like that i thought like everyone kind of did that so I kind of kept doing it, like we'd just do like one each week, like different school, obviously the school we played, whatever. Yeah. And actually it was funny because that first one I said, I made some joke, like we, I said we'd like win like, I don't even know, by like 60 points. We actually ended up getting smashed by Oklahoma. That, that was brutal. That was <laughs> when he planted the flag. Yeah, when he planted yeah, the flag, was, yeah. yeah. God, <laughs> that was brutal. What a highlight, one of the highlights still, of my yeah. watching yeah, football career. That, and um, one of my, so like getting the, the, them send the email was like really hyped me up till like kind of like motivated me. And then also one of my, my one of my best friends from home like also went to Ohio State, and actually I'm so he was in the barber shop like that whatever like that next week or whatever's that whenever I posted like a little bit after like that sometime in the next week, 
And he said Sam Hubbard was in the chair talking about it. And still to this day, I'm like, I actually, I'm actually now, I'm going to ask him like this week now. I always yeah, like, just thought of me. I was like, did he like say, he's like legit like my brother. Like, did, I'm like, did he say that to just like gas me up or did that, is that real? I think he was telling the truth. I need to ask him that now. But I remember him telling me that. I was like, oh, like that's fucking awesome. Like, this yeah, is, that's like, sick. Crazy. So I started doing like the videos like each week and they were like getting more traction. And I remember like my sister came out and like my parents came out for like a weekend kind of thing, came out like part of me, whatever. And people kind of like started like like actually like coming up to me and like being like, yo, like you're like the Barso guy, like baby, whatever, blah, blah. And like, I asked like, pictures and stuff, and it was like this crazy, like where this all starts. Like, I'm like, this is like there's probably like October ish, maybe like mid-October. And so I was like, holy shit, like this is like pretty wild. Like I didn't even like I remember one of my boys had started saying to me, like, when I first said I, like, got the opportunity, and they were like, oh, like, if you, like, do this, shit, people are going to, like, know who you are on campus. And I'm like, oh, like, I wasn't even really thinking much of it. And then, like, it's, people started to really, like, kind of take an interest to it and, like, yeah, uh, like, just show a lot of love at the bars. And it's, like, random shit like that. So that's awesome. It oh, especially really, the, it was pretty wild. Yeah, especially those people that were, like, already – barstool fans and they're seeing that come out of their university like oh that's a, that's our barstool guy i fucking love that guy like he's, he's always got the good takes and you know even though you're saying you're we're gonna win by 60 and we get smashed but yeah yeah <laughs> it, well it was funny it was funny because after that one i think like maybe two or three later i did like it was we played like maryland and like Rutgers or something and i just i predicted the score like almost to a t like back-to-back -back weeks like maybe it was off by like three points oh no shit so i feel like that caught a good time too and then like it kind of just like they were funny i guess and it kind of like took off from there where it was like kind of like uh i don't know it was pretty it was that that year like my senior was pretty interesting because it kind of like built as year went on and then people were like more and more just like a t it was really weird to like try to take in because it was like i'm in this spot where i'm like like I'm just doing these videos like literally out of my like basement with like yeah one mm -hmm. one of my best friends is like literally just like filming them for me and like editing them for me like we're literally filming off a cell phone yeah. I like bought like a little mic that I literally like would just like hook up to my phone and like we like save the audio on that it's the most uh, powerful then, tool in the world right there and then yeah it just kind of like went from there where it was like kind of just became like a thing and it was pretty wild were yeah. were you the double vodka don prior to this or did that make you the double <laughs> vodka don it was, it was something that I thought of. So, like, I always, like, we, we would always have, like, dollar wells were a big thing at Ohio State. So, it was always, like, the, especially in, like, poor college kids. Like, it was, like, $2 double wells, and you get two. I remember I would always, like, get two doubles and leave a five. Okay. Like, give the dollar tip, like, leave a five. So, I, right, always, right. Was, like, I always was, like, double fisting the double vodka lemonades. <laughs> so, that was kind of where, like, right. it came from. And then I just had the idea, like, I thought of it one time was like joking around and then like that some when I thought of like the whole stick, I was like, that would be like a very funny name. Yeah. To yeah. use. And then it kind of just stuck. Like I it's it's funny now because like I used to be a party animal and I like I barely I'm 29, I barely drink anymore. Like at all. <laughs> like I don't fault anyone that's still like fighting the good fight. There's plenty. I just kind of like hit like 26, 27, just hit like a wall of it where I kind of was just like over also when I when I get to it, I get to it. But like I'm <laughs> definitely like very like don't not drinking nearly as much. So now I almost think of it as I remember like Smitty used to just like Wait, are you... just call me like vodka as a name. And yeah. now I almost feel like it's like that. Like it's not even like liquor anymore. It's just like it's just a name <laughs> at this point. Oh, he went, you went from double vodka Don to not even single vodka anymore. You're just what like are you light beer Don now? How's that work? Oh no, no. When I drink, I'm doing I'm doing vodkas for sure. Okay, That's all right, just like making sure. Just making sure. Oh, I'll, like, I'll, I'll, sip, I'll sip a beer like here and there, but like I'm, yeah. if I'm like, but if I'm like drinking, like I'm, I'm, dr I'm drinking vodka for sure. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm the same way with whiskey. I get it, I get it. And he, so you speak about, you know, the, this long path at Ohio State. You're building up like all this love for, you know, uh, the Scarlet and Gray, and then going into Barstool, you got Dave fucking Portnoy just barking at your fucking neck every every year every, as soon as college football starts until it ends until the big game's over and then even after that like he, he's still was he texting i know he was texting brandon walker he was you know saying michigan was he sending you those two always dude he's we <laughs> we trust me there's been many many that are just like between us that like that he doesn't like screenshot <laughs> oh, like, no, really? like, just, like we talk about like just regular shit too or just like random gambling shit sometimes but like if i went on my text with dave like there's so many random we're just like one of us sending each other like some like random like tweet of, like oh like this like him like him just calling like day saying some like pussy shit or like 
or at least something like whatever. Like my bad if you guys don't want cursing or whatever. But no, uh, fuck, that, fuck that. Fuck that. Yeah, fuck shit. Okay. Fuck bitch. Cunt. Yeah, <laughs> got you. My my dad literally was like, I can't listen to your podcast because you curse too much. So I was like, oh, sorry. <laughs> I, know, I know YouTube gets weird with it sometimes and shit. That's the only reason why. I yeah, that's it. true. Uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah, just he was just like random, like just random shit, like back and forth, like that for sure, all the time. Yeah, the, uh, well, I mean, you got that, and then we got to stop him from laughing. This had, this has to be the year when the oh, picture man. of him and Taylor Luan. I mean, great photo, but oh, yeah, I, th- that's got to stop this year. We got to stop the bleeding. Man. I, I really, I genuinely, genuinely thought like we, when we had the ball, like I thought we were gonna win the game. Like on that last yep. drive, I was convinced. Like I was like, we're gonna go out win this game. I'm gonna rip their soul out in an arbor. <laughs> and I was, I was so ready because so a little, so before the game, we were like Dave, Dave was going to New York after because we had like a, uh, because we had uh, Cyber Monday and all that right after. So he was like, oh, like you can, um, he was like, he was like, you want to like come on the plane home, like the PJ. And I'm like, I was like, shit, like I don't, I'm that, I don't, like I'm, 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 that's a risky, like he was before yeah, the game. Right. I'm like, I don't know, that might be risky. Like, I don't know what's got, and he was like, he was like, he was like, going to say yes or no before. And I was like, all right, like I was like, fuck it, like I'm a gambler, like I'm yes, like I'm yes, no matter what. So Even I'm debating a PJ time, is insane, dude. I'm, I'm like, sorry, I'm but like my chops being like, yo, if he when we win this game, and I and I already know Dave, like I was like, the second if we if they like lose and we win, the second this game's over, he's going to get in this plane, get out of here. <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting. I was like, I cannot wait. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna stay up and say, take me home in your private jet, bitch. Like, <laughs> like I'm, like, I'm I, I was gonna be drinking champagne on the fucking plane. All this, like, I was just in my head, like, as we're driving, I'm like, yeah, like, I'm going to fucking, I'm going to milk this motherfucker. I've been beating the shreds for, like, two years. I'm over this shit this whole year. I've been, because it was so big, because, like, everything, all the, all the, whatever, the cheating, science, and whatever. It like, felt like that game was they, a national championship. It felt like that the winner I was, was going to win. Uh, I, I said, I believe that, too. And if, I was like, if they, if they pull this off, I can just say the last two years, like, it was like that win we could have been worth like three wins. Yeah. That win could have wiped out the I could have been like you, yeah, like you only won when you knew the plays, this and that. So that was that was the that was just realizing that that just like it was like three losses at the same time. Like yep. Like now on the flip side, now he, yeah, exactly. On the flip side, he gets to fucking say that because you know yeah. through all the cheating and the allegations and all that shit, we persevered. The men up north, the good on it. Fuck that noise. No, they cheated their way to a national title, and now Harbaugh, before they even get any of the blame, is up and in the NFL. Like his his perfect plan worked out. Like shout out Connor Stallions. I hope he's hired for for Barstool one day. I feel like <laughs> Dave's just fucking hiding him somewhere. But yeah, fucking yeah. It, it, yeah, he was. We gotta he stop was, it. Put, he was. He was around, not in the office or nothing. But when we were, when we were at Michigan for the show, he he was around. Oh no shit! He actually I, was. I didn't like meet him personally, but I'm sure you, you guys follow like how obviously followed hard. They like had the they kind of they post those little clips of him walking out with the mask or whatever. Oh he no was, shit! He, he, he was he was lurking around. Yeah, that's for awesome. Sure. They did the bit where he came on like you know the fake one came on stage and gave it to him at the college one of the shows you're on college football show. No uh, no no I. I think that was like him. Was it actually? I'm like pretty. Yeah, I'm like. Oh, I thought I'm it was like a fucking sure bit. Was, Maybe I'm, I'm just sure an idiot. Him. No shit. He was wearing the mask. I'm pretty sure it was. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's fu- that's fucking incredible. Uh, so, as a guy that's outside of this Ohio State Michigan thing, as you can see, Miami fan. That's why I hate you guys because you stole our national championship in '02. Um, but I still like. I don't know how. I, I know. I actually, I do know why. Like a bunch of my fraternity brothers, a bunch of my friends, they're all Ohio State fans. And as much as I hate them, when they play Michigan, I always want them to beat Michigan because, you know, that's, and I just know a couple of people from Michigan that are just assholes, not Dave, but they just act like whatever. And I feel like you are exactly right in the sense of if they were, if you were to beat them this last game, what they do? They beat you two times in a row. Even if they had, even if they didn't do the sign stuff, whatever. Oh, you won two times in a row. What? What was the record? Like seven in a row or eight that you guys just kept dominating them every year. You know what I mean? So like, I, I was just. It, it would have been the end of all ends to win this year for sure. So I don't know. I just think this this upcoming year, you got Ohio's uh, Ohio's Tatio as he did to Dave the other day. He said the Ohio's <laughs> Tatio. Um, I think him, he might be your good luck charm as crazy as that might sound because I, I this hope is the so, year. <laughs> this I, is it. I, mean, I this, think this is, I mean, this has to be the year for a day. I mean, I he yeah, has, oh, he doesn't have to probably talking totally realistic. He probably doesn't have to win the net. I mean, he's got to be Michigan to win the big 10. I think he might have to win a playoff game. 
Oh, no, no, with the 12 team for sure. Yeah, he, uh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, but he, it he, has expanded. I don't even want to speak. I don't want to speak into existence, but I think there's like, if they're like in the championship game, like they, he's not going to like get, what would you call realistic? Like he's not going to get fired. No. If no, they no. like lose like a close game to Georgia or some shit, even though that one's still, that was even the worst part because I still like have literally nightmares about that. About that, that fucking game. field goal. Field goal because, kick I mean, on New Year's. Like that's a kick that they make that kick. Like we're, we're, I'm like, who cares that you guys beat us in Michigan? Like we're national champs. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, we fucking... won that pygmy fucking game in November. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. Banners, rings, fucking like that was. Man. So yeah, I mean, it's. Just, I mean, I'm still convinced. There's like three. I'm. Mean, there's like two or three times that I think Ohio State has had the best team in the country and hasn't won. Yeah, I could agree. One of the I think one that one, I think the, one, the one that when I was a, I guess when I was a senior when they lost to Michigan State in that monsoon. Yeah, I'm still convinced. Like that team could have won the Natty. They lost that game and then like didn't didn't make the playoff. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's it's, it's just been tough. That. But I mean, what you're saying about Day is true. But yeah, he has to beat Michigan. If he loses to Michigan, it's a no doubt. Call, oh, no, right? he's gone. He's yeah, gone. The, if he beats Michigan. Yeah, or lose Michigan, he's gone. I I think I think Michigan winning the national championship kind of like helped them out a little bit. It's like okay, they were that good. They wouldn't beat everybody. But it, it's just I'm so done with losing to those guys, man. And watching guys like fucking Dave just yuck it up on the internet. It's just I'm I'm over. It. I'm over. I I think and it's, it, it's a two headed race. Hoping. It's us and Georgia. I, that's yeah. my thoughts on it. I'm hoping. I'm trying to sell myself on that. Like I'm hoping that them winning the, us losing three years in a row, them winning the Natty was mm-hmm. like the low point that we needed to just say like we're gonna spend all the money on the players. Yeah, we're gonna do like Dave's gonna give up play calling. I actually think like the O'Brien thing worked out great because I think we, Chip Kelly had literally a better mm-hmm. play caller. I'm, I'm, I think we legitimately upgraded by him by O'Brien becoming the OC and then taking oh, a thousand the, percent the yeah. PC job like a month later. Yeah, and, and he's the guy. He 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 was under like he was Chip's guy, so he trusts Chip. Like, and I think Chip Kelly's the perfect guy to where like let Dave be like the CEO and like be like the people's guy, like the coaches, like mm-hmm. the players' coach. And Chip Kelly, who's not that guy, like you're, he's a, in a lab just calling plays. No, That's yeah, we, he's his best call plays. I mean, we have he loves to run the ball. We got two great running backs. Yep, there was I we feel, had the I best receiver in the nation last year, and our offense at time looked boring and stagnant because all we do is force feed the guy. Like so, but Chip Kelly's an innovative mind. He's he's a guy that you've seen you know change the college football game and try to do it in the NFL and come back and still be pretty good in college. Not great, but you know pretty good as a head coach again. But if he's off all on offense, I'm with that. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, just call plays. Yeah, that's it. That's all you got to do. And you know he fucking loves it. He only plays offense on Madden, I bet. He's yeah. one of those guys. <laughs> but, yeah, and speaking of, you know, college football and, and, and the shows you're on, so you have the college football football show. And do I have it right? Am I, am, I, am I remembering correctly you're joining Unnecessary Roughness? Yeah, that's starting soon. We we're, I have a plan for kind of, like, restarting soon. But, yeah, I'm going to be, like, co-hosting and, like, and doing a little, like, producing on it as well. That's awesome. But, yeah, uh, get, get yeah, the link back up with uh, your buddy Brandon. Yeah, very excited. That's gonna be that's gonna be sick. Yeah, Blutman as well is joining. He's gonna be yeah, uh, doing social man. and like being like a, I think like a fourth mic on the show as well. So that's gonna be love. Blutman's the man. I like, got to meet him a little bit in Chicago. Oh, he's just, he like, was our so, last interview. He's just so funny, like unintentionally. Oh, yeah. He's just so like I I just appreciate people who are just like just he just is who he is. Like he's just like a creature of like just in the weeds of like all sports like. I kind of pride myself with a guy like I try to like be very active in like a lot of different sports. He's like this dude's in like super into golf, super into tennis. Like he's in yeah. everything. He can name like he can name like all the players on like every fucking team. I bet he yeah. can tell you a little bit about like every legit like every guy that's going to get drafted over the next like three four days for the NFL draft. Yeah, he's, he, he yeah. Knows, shout like, out his blog. Players, his blog just came back out. Teams. He's like he's a fucking a mind. Like he's definitely a, a unique brain. Yeah, he he's the best. We just had a chance to talk to him uh, last week. He was our, our episode last week, and man, he's it, he, it's it's funny the way he like you said it. He's just a mind. He's he's a very unique character. Like that's what I said about it when I quote tweeted our po- our post. Like possibly one of the most unique, if not the most unique guy. Like I've talked to from Barstool. You know what I mean? He, he's he's phenomenal. But yeah, that should be great. Unnecessary roughness obviously has a fan base and everything that uh, that rolling into it they're losing some pieces but they're picking up a couple great ones in my opinion and uh i'm excited to see that come out um and and that comes from your love of college football and you know i kind of glanced over but the college football football show how fucking awesome is it to be able to travel around the country and you know put on a show be in the crowd and tell indiana fans fuck indiana like you know that legendary (laughs) fuck indiana it's awesome 
Yeah, dude, it's 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 probably my it's definitely I would say it's definitely my favorite thing that I get to do and that we do. It's um, it's awesome. I love. It's funny because I'm not someone who's like really, before, especially like coming out of college, like really hadn't traveled a lot. Really had like hadn't been off the East Coast. Like when I went to Ohio State, that was the most West like I'd ever been in my life. Huh, um, shit. Like I, I like pretty much all the traveling I've done off the East Coast has been like through bars to like on some other shit too. But like a lot of it has been college football, like college football shit, just like getting to go to all these places, kind of like experiencing different environments, like. And just yeah, being I, I love being in the crowd. It was it was something even like at the beginning. I never um I never like thought not that I, I never thought like of myself like in that role, but it kind of just like kind of just like threw me in the fire at the first one and it kind of just like worked out. So it's kind of just gradually built, I guess, kind of from there. But it's it's definitely isn't like, my favorite thing. Like just feeling like the energy of the crowd. Like I, I just love like all just the shit talking and college football fans are just like the most pure like rabid fans that but it's we're cults like we're truly cults it's Absolutely, a close thing we yeah. have the cults and that's why like they're the craziest fan base fan bases and that's why like i just i just fucking love it yeah i mean well it's it's a fan base where like the the stemming you know the stem of the fan base is people coming out of frats and fraternities well fraternities and sororities and all that shit but like obviously they have a passion for the school so you got to root yeah like you said it's very cultish but that's what i love about the game and love about the sport and that's like it goes into like uh, the field storming issues. Like, shut the hell up. These people care about it. Like, come on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I, I feel like, so I skipped, obviously uh, the show you're on every day. Uh, I, I skipped it for a reason because the characters on that show, you know, yeah. it's, it, it, it's probably like it's second to none, the diversity when it comes to that cast. Uh, yeah. Pick central, man. You get to sit there and yuck it up about, about, you know, what's going on in sports, uh, an hour a day with the likes of, you know, Klimmer, Rico Bosco, Smitty. And, uh, you got Meek Phil today who had a great fucking, he had Klimmer, he had Klimmer all twisted up. And then sometimes you get Dukes barking out, barking out of the booth. Like, I mean, what an awesome show that, uh, I, I guess I don't really have a question for that. Just complimenting Pick Central. I love the show. When I get to catch it, it's awesome. And uh, yeah, you do a great job on it. Thank you, man. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's do it's a bunch of cartoon characters. It's funny because like we're all. It's funny you say we're all different because we are, but we're also like. I always say we're all like kind of the, we're like weirdly like the same but different at the same time. We're all oh, yeah. just like, I mean, we're all New Yorkers besides. I guess. I was say he didn't even men- mention like, Smitty, uh, who blows up the most on the show. Yeah. I feel like. <laughs> I dude, I I fucking love Smitty. I know he gets like a lot of shit, but Smitty is like legitimately like one of the nicest guys like ever. I fucking I love Smitty. I feel so uh, bad for him, dude. Straight he, up. Yeah, he, like, like he he takes a beating sometimes. He yeah, it's tough. Well, he brings it on himself a little bit. I will say that he does bring yeah, it on himself a little bit. But like, I also like to have a fucking. Twitter account dedicated to if you're coming to the office or not is fucking ridiculous, dude. Like, yeah, it's, just yeah, like, it's, like I, because I, and it, it, it's all, it's all part of the game. Like, we all, yeah, it's, it's kind of like the, de- it's the, the deal we signed. Like, I, I we would all do it a hundred times over. Like, I would never uh, complain because I don't, I don't get as much as somebody, but I've, I've caught my fair share of lashings in my day, so. Oh yeah, that, it, it, yeah. It, it comes with it. Yes, but I, I I want I want to put a side by side of you and Butterbean. So, uh, you definitely <laughs> have you definitely have uh, caught some lashing. I love that dude, man. Get yeah, the four rounders. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's immediately you were like, yeah, I'll take that. If you're calling me Butterbean, I'll take that because it got on pig special. It was I'm, awesome. I love Butterbean. <laughs> yeah, he's a man. He's a man. When he beat up, uh, who was it? And Jackass, Johnny Knoxville. Yeah, he was beating his ass around like, uh, like a department store. Yeah, it was awesome. But it means a man. So yeah, I thought it was a compliment. Uh, but I, you know, well, you're talking I, about taking lashings, and we were talking about it earlier. I was gonna say it, but you were talking about how, like, the past couple of years, it's been you know Dave up your ass, and you know it's been tough. Whatever. Were you there when the Giants beat the Patriots in the Super Bowl? Like, nah, you... nah. Oh, I was in. Damn. I was in high school. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, that is actually <laughs> so way that, earlier. I, I guess no. I had made the joke actually until until like we had the not last year, obviously the year before when we like won the playoff game, like made the players won the playoff game. That was really the first like meaningful season I had had like at Barcelona as a Giants fan. Like the only other thing had been like when I freaked out when we drafted Daniel Jones, and I remember to me like it was kind of funny like when that happened because it was kind of realizing like I would it's because growing up like Giants were like my number like my. Like, I went to my first Giants game when I was, like, I couldn't even, like, I was, uh, I couldn't even go in. I was not even, like, one years old. I remember, like, my dad and, like, grandpa going and them leaving me with my mom and my grandma. Like, we were, like, gi- like Giants through and through. 
So it's funny. Like, I became so synonymous kind of like with Barca was my thing was more like the Ohio State guy. Yeah. But like Giants were always like truly my number one. And like, they're like my, like I, they're like my favorite. Like I love the Giants more than any. I love the Giants. Like if I had to, like the, the college fandom is different. Like they're like right there. It's like, you're like, cause just going to like Ohio, like I, going to Ohio State, I feel like I was truly, like I was like a part of it. Right. Like, I was I was say, like, you were like, on was, the like, team kind of. Yeah. Like I was yeah. a fuck guy. Like I was there. Yeah. Like in the trenches with like I went to school there, like got my degree, like really loved it there. So mm-hmm. it's like I feel part of the Giants was like my like that's just what I grew up on. It's what my dad and grandpa like are like that's their favorite. We had season tickets till I was like in like eighth grade and they had the new stadium and the PSLs, we couldn't afford them anymore. Damn. But like I remember there were like years where like if our if my like youth football schedule worked out right, we try to go to like almost every Giants home game. So I was like a big like Giants were always like I love, love, love the Giants. But never got to really like hype up my Giants fandom because yeah. they were just <laughs> awful. Like my whole time I was there until literally two years ago, they had one little blip. They're decent, and then the back to trash again. Yeah, I know. How do you how do you give a quarterback a contract and then a year later you're ready to draft one? <laughs> yeah, dude, it's my only thing is I've been saying from the beginning like he's off. He'll be off the books after this year. Yeah. Thank God we didn't. Thank God we kind of like we front loaded the contract. It wasn't like we're not like stuck with him for like five years. I think. I know. Now I'm getting nervous. They're going to draft McCarthy, and this is going to be the most like god oh, oh god, god. Ever to me. oh my god. Because I've been saying oh truly, god. truly, I didn't even think of that. I will. I listen. I'm not like I love the Giants. Like, if he goes, if he goes to the Giants, like there'll be no bigger JJ McCarthy guy than me. You're fucked. As of tomorrow night at this time, if the Giants draft him, but mm. if he goes to the Giants and he is dog shit, which he will I will be, be convinced <laughs> that he is a spy. That <laughs> yeah, like, that's planted it. in my life. So literally just pummel me and make me miserable <laughs> and ruin my life for three years and then come to the Giants and then ruin my life again by just tanking my franchise and making That's us insane. just start over again like in like three, four years from now. The, I'll this start, is, if they draft him, I will be praying. I hope he's the next Tom Brady. If he's the, the, this this is the all. The thing uh, about Daniel Jones, we drafted him. I, as, bad, as mad as I was and I, as little faith as I had in Daniel Jones, the day after, like it, I doubt, I doubt they would have the records on all bars to radio, everything, <laughs> everything I was on. I was like, I pray to God. I look the biggest idiot, and he's the best quarterback that's ever lived. I, I say the same thing with you, and I think JJ's, I think he'll be better than Daniel Jones. I think Daniel Jones is, be, is like bad, bad. I think he'll yeah. be better than that, but I just don't, I, I don't know. I guess I just don't see this like huge ceiling with JJ McCarthy, but I pray to God. If the Giants say that I'm wrong, I think we need to just stop speaking this into existence because, like, I'm I, I'm having it's like I'm feeling like chills crawling up my arm for you he, for this. Like, right before, just, right before we started ugh. recording this, he literally Rich Eisen today on the show asked him like where he thought he was going, and he yeah. literally just said the Giants. Like he was like, I spent oh all this time with the Giants. God. I spent all this time with the Giants, like all these meetings. That's hilarious. Out, like um, dinners. Um, it, we like the Giants run like a, basically the same offense we run at, at Michigan because uh, Dable was at Bama and the Gaddis who was at Bama then went to uh, Michigan like they ran like it's that same offense. Yeah. So, like he was like I know all the formations, all like the motions, all the install. Like I know the offense already. Right. I was like, <laughs> yeah. oh my god, here we go. This is it. That that'd be that'd be great if you opened up a uh, Connor uh, Connor Stallion's manifesto and in there is included in a little side chapter is JJ McCarthy to the Giants to continue to torment Big F because it seems oh, like man. that's that's how it's working out. That's a hell of a manifesto that that guy had. Uh, I tweeted like months ago. I was like, it's I knew like once once I realized oh like he's definitely gonna go in the first round like he's gonna go like <laughs> probably like decent. I thought it was all hype, man. Round. I didn't think he was that fucking good. I, I still don't yeah, think he's I that thought, good. I man. thought he was gonna go second. I still feel like he should go second round, but I guess I haven't really listen to enough stuff though I don't either, good so. luck if he's with you though i mean yeah, i appreciate it <laughs> yeah. well to, to, to learn that you're a giants number one is like i feel so much worse for you now dude like i remember it's funny you said that you were the ohio state guy i remember like like seeing who you were following your stuff like whatever and then i was like oh yeah he's the ohio state guy thinking like you're clearly from ohio or midwest whatever and then you had a yankees hat on i'm like this fucking asshole front runner fucking <laughs> yankee fan whatever and then you're like no, I had Giants, Yankees, like from New York. I'm like, oh, well, that's a little different. That's why I was like, what the fuck, Ohio State? That's it's like, Knicks yeah, I forget too. people go to schools. That's next too. Like, I, next, like, let's I, go. I've worn, I've worn every hat as a as a New York sports fan. Like, high, high like Yankees fan, where it's just like we're we are the worst, 100. percent And every year it's just like it's do or die. Like it's championship or bust. Giants, where like it's literally just a, a absolute roller coaster. 
of like we've won two championships and then outside that we've been pretty much bad. Yeah. And then the Knicks have just been horrendous my whole life until literally like basically the last like couple of years that they're like not even really a title contender, but right. That's the part that yeah. sucks. Until all the all so the Nova low. boys, yeah, all the, the Nova boys. So low that like them like winning a playoff series is like basically winning a championship. Oh, you see it! You see it after every game, after every yeah, home game. The fucking well. streets are filled up like you guys are having a championship parade. Fuck Trey Young, still getting chanted in the streets in New York. Uh, like, what I, the that fuck? Is one, thing, one thing I'm unapologetic about, like I will net like Knicks fans, we should celebrate every fucking win because th- this is my point. Hundred percent. When you listen, if when you celebrate like a, when you celebrate that game like it's a championship, life's about memories, fellas. You remember dancing those streets, whether like, like listen, hey, it, it felt like it was not, it felt like it was 1973. What do I know? <laughs> I mean, but I like that's as a Knicks fan, like my standards are admittedly like as low as low gets. Like yeah. people, every chance I get and we get to celebrate, like we will celebrate. And if they don't like it, like fuck them. Yeah, yeah. I'm at they, the point where I'm like, if we life. if we make it to the Celtics, that's oh, insane. Dude. That's insane. Just hang a banner. Yeah, exactly. That's what, and it's like that's pathetic to say that, but then it's like you get there. Miami got there last year. East, East, Eastern Conference runner ups. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> that, that's fucking great. Uh, we so you you mentioned mentioned earlier how uh, Bluntman is into all these different sports and all that stuff. I mean, and and you do your best to to kind of like diversify that portfolio, and I think you do it well with spinning backfist, which is one of the best MMA. Uh, social accounts right now. I don't know who's running the account, but that I mean, it's like the first thing I ever see a UFC clip from is from Spinning Backfist, which is incredible. But yeah, that show, you know, going live after each one, you guys have a dedication. It seems like you guys filled out a good team. Uh, yeah, I, I love that show a lot. How's it feel to, you know, create another thing uh, to work on with, you know, it kind of seemed like it was a smaller demographic of fans first, but now that that sport's just exploding, getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, dude, I, I love it. It's, um, Shout out, shout out Lee Holbert, who was, if people remember, he was like, the he was an intern with us. Like, he he was uh, the guy that he had, he's a huge dude with a mullet. And Dave was like, who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> like, there was like a viral clip that happened. That's Lee, Lee Holbert. The shout out Lee. He's the man. Grinds his ass off running that account. Jack Mack also does it, too. So, Jack yeah. Mack's a social king. So, shout out Jack Mack. I just love, like, Jack Mack and Robbie are legit the best. Like, I... I just MMA is fucking unbelievable. You, the UFC is unbelievable. I just Dude. that's like one of my favorite things. Like true, like yeah. I would say pretty much like it got to a point pretty much where like football, like football is always be like my favorite sport, but like MMA is like right there. Like I, there's nothing that gets me excited besides like maybe like a, like a big college football Saturday NFL like like a, like nah. a UFC card. Even nothing. Like a week one. It's just like I'm. Just, I guess I'm just like a Neanderthal. Like it's just such a like I just love people just fucking. It's just the gladiator shit. Like it's truly, really, it's unbelievable. Yeah, the, nothing hits like that Max Holloway knockout. When you're sitting in the basement with the boys, we're all just tuned in, locked into this fight, and you know, at the he's like, you know, meet meet me in the in the center, and he knocks him out with a right hand to end it all. Like I had like dudes that were like in the bait, like we were all like at my homie's house, you know, grabbing me from behind. Like we just like, oh, like <laughs> that's the greatest live moment in sports I think I've seen. Like. That that knockout was truly just spectacular, and it blew all our minds. It felt like we were in the fucking booth with them. So I, I, you guys are on the right path. That I love the sport as well. I get it. I get you. You know, that's I love. I love. I give Robbie so much credit for kind of like for like really blazing the trail of like mm-hmm. MMA content at Barstool. Like all the shit he's done with McGregor, and like all like just all like the covering and just like interviews and stuff like that he's done leading up to like us starting spinning back is was like unreal. So to have a guy like that, like on the team with like his foot so far in the door, like, like he has a lot of, like had a lot of connections with just like people in the game already. Obviously like the, I mean, the thing, what he's done, like just building relationship with Dana White is like truly like incredible. Dude. Yeah. You so want to talk like, about Ro- Robbie, Robbie and Jack Mack are the fucking man. Like you want to talk about a guy with a deep bag of, of talents. It's Robbie Fox. And that, 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 that cat is talented. And tr- like one of the best dudes to also Jack Mack as well. Yeah, like yeah, oh two, yeah. Like two of the two are like the best dudes. Well, you guys are like you guys are always putting out picks, and I feel like is that like your best gambling like sport? Is that UFC? Because I feel like you guys <laughs> no, no, Dude, because I, no, Jack, Jack <laughs> is good. I've I've this year, especially this year, just really in any sport, I've been so bad. Like I like twenty. I I I, I point to it literally since we lost to Michigan. I remember uh-huh. that night before, like the, the the Friday night before, like get to Michigan. 
for like flying to Detroit or whatever, uh, or Ann Arbor, wherever it was, like for the for the show. I think that night I was like, oh, like whatever. I'm, I play like I usually I just go nuts. I always play like a bunch of games, and I'm like, all right, like I'm gonna play nothing but like Ohio State at noon, which like usually I have like a bunch of plays there all day. I'm like, I'm gonna play whatever I have, like take it all out, put like a big bet on Ohio State. That's it. Went one and nine. Then lose Ohio State. Oh, then I remember I I get home that night and I'm like fuck it like I got three more bullets in me like I'll fire three more college football games lose all three. Damn. Like I remember like I remember the next day like in NFL like we had a we streamed the next day in the office got like smoked was like two and eight <laughs> like and then I really feel like truly like since then I've almost like just never recovered. It's just like, another chapter like, of the man. Steadily manifesting. like steadily awful for legitimately like since what is that like ended basically early December. Yeah. Like since basically since then, like I've been just truly, truly awful, awful. The worst like, to gambling I've literally like, ever had in my life. We got to turn this around. How are we going to turn this around? You got to, any- the only thing it's the only thing I would that saved me a little bit, which I, I felt like I felt bad because I didn't like give it out. I ended up kind of taking it later on was I did have Holloway round five. Okay. There you go. Oh, Perfect. Yeah. yeah. And, and Holloway KO, which was a spark. Uh, Cause I, I always give up my own place. And I have like, sh- I'll show it to uh, shout out Andrew Gomboss and uh, magic. They're yeah. like just super good MMA gamblers, like really, really, really know their shit. They're guys that like I have just like immense respect for, and like pay when they like say something, I like pay attention to it. Yeah, like I always have like my own breakdowns, like my own like my own reads and stuff, and I won't like. But when they they there's two guys that I like shout them out when they like say shit, I listen. Yeah, and no. so like Magic, I remember he was like he like uh, usually like sends me his card, like if he was like saying like round like round five and all that. So I remember I was in AC with the boys, like played that. And so that yeah. was like that bit that, but that bailed me out of like getting smoked in the casino. So yeah. that kind of like hit the 29 <laughs> to one kind of like that bailed me out. But yeah. No, hit, hits like that always make you feel like, Oh, I'm definitely getting the next one too. Cause that one was yeah. just a flyer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I feel you. Um, yeah, I, I do have to get running here soon. Uh, so mom's not waiting at the airport too long, but before I go, uh, do you have a favorite moment and a least favorite moment at Barstool? I think we know the least already. Wait, wait, he's got a few least. We got pictures to back that up. I know that for sure. But yeah, the least. See, I, I would almost say more like per, it's. It's funny, like the way like Barso. So like it's like it's this sick twisted thing because, literally, like me realistically, as much as I hate it and would like take would rather win, like losing, like losing to Michigan is literally like good for my career, which is so, which is the most annoying thing in the world. I fucking hate it, but it's the truth. I would say truly, like, I would say hmm, the be- the best thing, I'll say, hmm. all right, I'll, I'll tell this, like, sto- little story, I guess. <laughs> I would say the, the best thing would probably be, like, the first college football show I went, like, when we went, like, live and did. So, like, I had been, I had been full-time for literally, like, a month and a half, maybe. I had yeah. turned that whole summer got full time like in September, uh, like basically like, like starting like early September. And I remember even like, I had no idea what I was going to do. Like Dave kind of just like hired me. Um, and he was like, all right, like you're going to like do the college football show and this. And I was kind of like, all right, like I didn't really know what like role I was going to have. Like we did like a few studio shows, whatever. Um, and then we go to, we go to Michigan for like the first like live one mm-hmm. and we go to it and he's like, all right, like you're just going to like, he's like, we're going to, you'll be like, we're going to just put you in the crowd. Like you'll, you'll be all right. So I kind of was like, all right, like, I guess I'm in the crowd. So that whole, that whole weekend was like such a whirlwind because like, it's still truly, and it's, and I promise it still like really feels this way a lot even today, but I truly was like surreal. Like it really was surreal being there and like going, like we, like, we like day we're at the point, like we're flying private. So like every, we always fly private. I'm like, mm-hmm. I couldn't even believe, like, I'm like, Tom, I'm like, I remember I texted Tommy this year, like, when should I like get there? And he's like, oh, just show up like 10 minutes before the flight. Yeah, so, I'm crazy. The flight. Yeah. I'm like, all right. So I show up like an hour before the flight. I'm the first right. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm for, I'm first one there. I have no idea what like what's going on. So, and I even felt bad because I remember like so like I get there, then like maybe Dave gets there next. We're like shooting the shit a little bit. Um, like whoever gets there next, like Case whoever. And I remember Frankie ended up like being like his Uber driver. I guess was like the worst. Like m- missed a bunch of turns. He comes <laughs> late, and then Dave's using me as an example to like roast Frankie. Like, he's like. So oh. He was like, see, like he was the early, like he's he's not comfortable. Like you're comfortable, which is like he was definitely not like comfortable. <laughs> right? Like, yeah. Never, yeah, like, never. He's like using me as like a vessel to like roast him. <laughs> see, like he was the early, like he would never, like he would like blah blah blah. Yeah. So even then, we like finally, he like gets there, like roasting him. We get in the plane, even even just having the moment of like 
just sitting on the plane, which is funny, it was like a tiny plane where like me and Frankie are like literally like face to face, like this far away. Like our our knees are literally going like inner, like, yeah. inner, like changing. And but even just sitting on the plane, I'm just like looking. At, I'm just like looking around, and it's like Dave, like it's like Dave, Dan, Frankie, Tommy, Casey, and me. And I'm like looking at myself, and I'm like, how did I like end up in this seat? Like yeah. a few months ago, I literally was like would have done anything to like. I was like, how did this happen? So like, this is crazy. So even that, and then like, even just get, we, I remember we get to the, like, go to check in the hotel and I'm assuming we're just like sharing rooms. Like I'm like, oh, like, we're sharing rooms. I remember MB, I said, I'm like, somebody, and she like, the, like laughed at me. Like, oh, like, like just like little bro would be like so hard. Like lovingly, yeah. like, not like disrespectful, but she was like, oh, like, ha, like you thought we share rooms. Like <laughs> nothing. I'm like, we're like grown this, like we're grown men business. Like we're taking <laughs> yeah. a work trip. Like you're not like staying with like your bunk mate. Like you're like 14 years old. Like go on a vacation with your parents or some shit. <laughs> so like doing that. And then like we go, I remember like going the next day to the show. And like, it was when Blake Griffin at first joined the Pistons. So like he comes to the house yeah, and, oh, him yeah. and all his boys were like doing beers. Yeah. And I remember like going upstairs to piss and coming down to this little like Airbnb where we like do the show and like the <laughs> lot and like Blake Griffin sit on the couch. And I'm just like, this is like crazy. Yeah, what the fuck is going like, on? Yeah. Quick, whatever. We're like doing, we're just like drinking beers, whatever with them. Then like we do, then we like actually like, do the show where like I really had no idea like what I was gonna do or anything, and I go in there like in all, all like Ohio State like all shit, mm -hmm. and immediately like drunk dudes start like almost trying to fight me, and this <laughs> one dude was like really being like aggressive, so he like basically is like literally he like bumps me like hard on purpose, and when I go out there, there's like a big like a huge a camera a guy holding like a huge camera yeah and there's a guy that's like holding his like ropes basically like the like the long ass like cords yeah he's, he's yep he's so he's, like, he's a pa cords and he like so the one guy that really shoulder checks me and then starts like talking shit and so i'm just like start talking shit back to him where i'm like <laughs> he basically like, threatened to like punch me and i was like, all right like take a shot buddy like go ahead like, yeah in one of those and but in my head i'm also like am i about to go out here for two seconds and get into a fist fight yeah just get jumped crowd, like, yeah two, like a month into doing this shit so then the guy holding the cords, like, I guess just basically, he, he like, kind of, like, the guy, like, once I said it, he kind of, the, to the other guy, he kind of just, like, walked away. And the guy with the cords is, like, yo, like, I got your back, bro. Like, I guess he kind of just, like, said, <laughs> he's, like, he respected that I just was, like, in just a sea of Michigan fans. And I was, like, right, I'm not going to, like, take, like, you're not going to just, like, bully me around. Right. So we do the show. Some guy gives me, like, a dizzy bat. And I do it. <laughs> start, like, yelling. Everyone goes nuts. And, like. I remember, like, it just was funny thing where, like, I went in there with the Ohio State stuff. Everyone's, like, hating me. And by the end, like, they loved it. And I came back in after, and I'm just, like, buzzing. Like, it was almost, like, kind of, like, blacked out. Like, I really didn't, like – I was almost, like, I didn't even, like, know what happened. I didn't black out yeah. drinking. Like, literally, I was, like, really? what, yeah. like, what's going on? And immediately, I come off, and Frankie's, like, be like, yo, like, you fucking crushed it. Like, you did great. Everyone's, like, yo, like, you did so good. I, like, come in, and Dave's, like – I walk – Dave's, like, Ev, like, great job. Yeah, he, like, that's does, awesome. I, he's, like you guys know, like he's not an attaboy guy, like at all. No, for sure. So like immediately, I was like, oh, like I shit, I did like really well. Yeah, he'd and, probably like, deny I, that. Like, my role that. is kind of like, evolved from there, but even even the night before, like we go out to the bars and we're like drinking all that stuff. Just like that whole weekend was like definitely the best. It just was like a surreal, like holy shit, like here, like yeah. No, it it seems like, it, uh, like yeah. going on. Yeah. It seems like your best moment is kind of like what we see outside as fans is, is like kind of how what we envy. It's like you know the camaraderie and the uh, getting, getting, you know, the opportunity to work with people like Dave and Dan and Frankie and Tommy and like all those people and like just being there in the moment and like, holy shit, like finally I got the stool behind me. I'm on the ship. Like, uh, yeah, I, I feel like, you know, a lot of us stoolies are envious of that and that's, a, it's an awesome experience, man. Um, but yeah, I, I do got to get running to, to, You're good, bro. to worst, mom. Worst, say, if you guys saw the casino video, probably was the worst. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, I never. I would say after that, I I was. I said that my bad. Not to just real. No, you're say. good, bro. You're good. The, um, I would say there was like a point in time when I was like younger, as we were at college, where like every I felt like five or six months, I would do something dumb. Yep. Maybe ever like even three, four months at that point, do something <laughs> dumb that where Dave would like yell at me about it. And then I feel like that was where I finally was. Like, All right, I need to like cut, like stop doing this dumb. Yeah, thing. relax. I, I think I was like try I, in my head. It like I was like trying to like make i truly was like trying to make content i think dave knew that about me like i wasn't trying to be like some asshole like he knew who i was and knew like yeah. that's not who i am at all and definitely it but it definitely came off like i was like some arrogant like asshole no. but i was really just trying to basically be on some like i don't know what i was trying to do basically got some like nelk shit and like try to like fit like no right. like, oh if i'm like filmed with these security guys walking me out this will be like get a bunch of views yeah but no. yeah that was when i was all right like he like don't know you don't have to like force it
I mean, Clemmer like Clemmer thought like Clemmer thought that uh, solitary confinement was going to be a monster hit. So uh, it's it's part of the learning curve, you know. What I mean? It was worth. It ended up being a monster. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, yeah. no, no, was. no. It, it was, it was, it was. <laughs> and and I, we love Clemmer too. We've had him on before. I just you know trying to relate it to something, but no, I, I get what you mean. And uh, yeah, I, I just want to <clears> say thanks. I've like I appreciate you, you know, saying what's up in the first place. And you know, obviously, I'm a big fan of yours, just being the Ohio State guy and. Uh, uh, you know, all, all, all the, the stuff you seem to do and you, you, you really do appreciate the fans. So we appreciate that side of you as well. So, uh, yeah, thanks a lot for coming on, man. We appreciate you. No, thank yeah. you boys for real. I, I genuinely appreciate like you guys are truly like guys like you and a lot of other people are truly like, especially you guys, like guys are like this, like into it, <laughs> like dedicated to it, like truly like you guys are like, I said to you, I DM it to you. I'll send you too, for Like you guys are literally like the lifeblood and like, like it does, it's not past me. Like I, like I said, I still genuinely, when I go on these trips and get to do like cool experiences, I truly like still feel like it's like not like surreal <laughs> about it. And I just like, I still have very much like this imposter mindset about it. Just like, what's like, like, I truly feel like I just kind of like stumbled. Like I was like going for it, but I truly feel like I stumbled into it. So like, I just generally appreciate people. Like I can't even fathom that people watch or listen to like anything I do. I can't listen or like watch myself. So, like, <laughs> that's, truly, that is, that's literally me, bro. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off there, but no, I, I've good. said that before on this podcast and it's kind of, I feel the same way you just doing this shit. Cause I'm like, Holy shit. I'm talking to Brandon Walker. I'm talking to Nick. Yeah. I'm talking to big Ed. Like it's like, you guys are like the celebrities to us. Cause that's what we watch. You know what I mean? So it's like, like Jonathan said, man, I'm sorry for cutting you off, but I appreciate you, you coming on and you know, we got to get the rest of the pick central crew on. I've been DMing meek and Dukes a little <laughs> bit. They haven't been responding lately, but yeah, we're going to have to get the rest of the crew. To, uh, I think they would meet you. Meek's a funny character, man. Dude, that would be said great. Yes, before. I don't I think just there's anyone that. that I've had a, a genuinely a more like when when I for, when he first got hired and he was here, I fucking hated him. Hated him. <laughs> we were literally talking about this the other day, like all this me, Marty, Rico. I was saying like hated him, and truly, I would take a bullet for Meek Phil. That dude yeah. is he's you have to you have to understand him. Like once you understand him, you realize that dude is like super nice guy. Like he's just a troll. He just truly. <laughs> is a troll in his heart of hearts. That is the way he's wired. That is who he is. But he's a nice dude. He would help anyone out. He is like a team, team, team guy through and through. Me yeah. feel like very solid. And Dukes as well. Like same Dukes, I, I like Dukes from the beginning. So there wasn't much of a 180. Like, <laughs> like right, also yeah. obviously great dude. But Meek is like truly like those two guys, like just great dudes. Fuck yeah, we'll have to we'll have to work uh work on our DM skills with those two. But no, yeah, I'm pretty we'll sure Dukes gave us a bit more. They gotta go on. They gotta yeah. go on. Meek. Meek will be just Meek is Meek. Like Meek will just yeah. be Meek. No, I'll just grab a gallon of milk. We'll find we'll we'll find yeah. something to talk about. Yeah. No problem. You gotta get Smitty on here too. If the Knicks are like up big in the 76ers yeah. series, so I can get on his shit and he could be like, What the fuck am I doing on this show? Right. Yeah, literally just say like Doc Rivers to him. He'll just start like yeah. <laughs> he'll turn say, he'll turn redder than Doc the recording Rivers button. Or, actually, I guess not even anymore because it's they won't be his fault this time. But there there was a time like last year where if you said Doc Rivers, like walk around Frank and be like, Hey, how the Mets doing? Like you'll get like a from from fucking Smitty as well. <laughs> the clap. <laughs> That's great. All right, boys. I I really gotta go. Mom's getting pissed. She she has my little. Yeah, take care, mom. Take care. <laughs> All right, boys. I appreciate. Right, Ed, thank you so much you, again. Dude, I appreciate thank you guys, man. God yeah. bless. Appreciate you guys. Yep. Talk to you soon, man. Thanks. It's the barstool breakdown. Go ahead and give it to me. Breakdown messes to the sky.